Good afternoon. What you see underneath the camera is an example of Big Bug. It's a scratch board assignment and you'll be scratching the design out of a board, scratching a top layer of black off to reveal colors underneath. And even though you can't really shade easily with this scratching technique, the colors themselves are very bright and boy do they contrast nicely with the depth of the black of the board. So you're going to be experimenting with lots of different lines and shapes for your big bug because lines and shapes are going to make up your design. So let's just get started with the concept of this. This is a concept, a student work of Big Bug. You can see that it's a very elaborate butterfly. And the butterfly is pretty much, left and right, a mirror image of itself, just like you and I are. We have a very formal balance. If you can imagine a line going down the middle of your body, we call that the midline. The left and the right sides of your body are pretty much mirror images of one another, just like this bug. And also, just like this bug and many other bugs, you have three major body segments. You have a head, you have a thorax that houses your lung and hearts, and you have down here a belly or an abdomen. Your abdomen holds lots of different special organs like your intestines, your kidneys, your spleens, your, gall your spleen, your gallbladder, your pancreas. We also have legs and arms, and in the case of the bug, they have legs and oftentimes wings. So we will add some appendages to help fill up our design space. Here is a finished bug. I don't know if you can see it well under the camera. It's very bright and shiny and glittery. Yours also will be very bright and shiny and glittery, maybe even multicolored. So let's just get started with the concept piece, and we'll do another video later on showing you the scratching itself. Right now I just need an ebony pencil and I also need a regular number two pencil and maybe a couple of sheets of plain old concept paper or prelim paper or printer paper, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to take one sheet and fold it in half and on one half of this midline I'm going to very lightly draw, very generally draw, head, thorax, and abdomen. It looks a little bit like half a snowman. Now I'm going to go ahead with my ebony pencil and make a very dark line, but only half the bug. It's this dark line that's so necessary for my design to be complete left and right. There's the head, here is the thorax, I'm going to shape it differently, and here is the abdomen. Remember, it's just half of the bug right now. I don't yet have any details in my main body segments, nor do I have any appendages yet. I like drawing wings because they are big and flat and can fill with lots of other design. And bugs often have two sets of wings, so I'll put one wing above and one wing below, and notice how I take them clear off the page to really make good use of the page. Now, inside, let's make one eye. I'm going to keep it simple. Half a nose. I don't think bugs really have noses, but I'm going to do it anyway. And there's a mouth, kind of scowling. And inside the thorax, maybe another shape. Maybe another shape there. These will all repeat. There's a transitional area here. I'll go ahead and add some line work here. Nothing special. Carefully done, but nothing special. And of course, dark. And maybe in the wings, and you can do numbers, letters, symbols if you want. I think I might put a heart shape there, and that will be transferred later over to the opposite side, and another heart shape there. And let me go ahead with a few lines down here just to fill this space and maybe another shape right there. Now that's good enough to get started. To show you how we transfer these lines over, since the lines are dark, we can do that. I will take the bug, make a bug sandwich. So the bug here goes inside. So my dark lines here will be in contact with the opposite side of the paper. I like to work on a second sheet of paper, maybe even a pad of paper for what I'm about to do. I'm now going to take my regular old number two pencil, which has a pretty hard lid, and I can see my lines from the back. Remember, here are my original lines, and they're facing the other side where they need to transfer. And I'm just simply going to press back and forth a couple of times right on top of my lines. 
and you can see, whoops, missed that one. The back may not look very attractive. You can see I've missed my line a couple of times, but this is the back, it is not the front. Let's see how successfully I have been, how successful I've been in transferring some of these lines. Let's check. Okay, not bad. It's very faint. I don't know if you can pick it up under the camera. It's possible I should be using a little bit more pad of paper underneath, but I can see my lines well enough to go back over them, and even though they're light, that's good enough. Now, I'm going to be quiet for a little bit and finish my transfer process. I might even add an extra sheet of paper underneath to help with that along. Okay then, I'm done. You can see that the darker lines from one side were able to transfer to the other using some pressure from the back. Recall my number two pencil worked well, especially when it has a dull tip on it so I can bear down or press down with some force. And putting two or three sheets of plain paper underneath, maybe even just your art folder, provides a certain cushion that allows the transfer to take place a little better. These lines here on this side, that would be your left as you look at the picture, uh, are light, but they're good enough. I can see them. Notice how I can go back over the lines to make them show up just a little better, those areas that might not have transferred as well. But by and large, I can see everything very clearly. So this is your concept piece. This is worth 30 points, 40 points if you really do a great job and knock it out of the park. Now in the next video, I'll be taking this concept piece, attaching it to a piece of scratch board, transferring the lines once again, one last time, and using a wooden stylus, a pointed stick, to open up the lines and begin to weight the lines. Now, you try.